Cancer, how you doing? Welcome to your Astro Flower reading, uh, going from the 27th through to the 3rd of uh, December. Already, this has got something to do with water signs. You've already got two nines on the table here, uh, and it's all about bringing things to a pinnacle, uh, to a point of reference um, within your life, certainly in your relationship side. Um, you have these healthy boundaries that are on the overall energies on the nine of wands, and then on the karmic path, you have the nine of pentacles, which is all about realizing that when you go down the path, the joyous fruits and what you need will be available, made available as you go down the path, basically. Um, and there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of fire going on, uh, coming through you. Woof. It's, it's okay. So on relationship side, it's definitely non-stop for you. My word, my word, this is phenomenal. My word. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Why do you want to come out? Okay. So you've got the strength and the three of swords and then we're on to the financial side here. We'll come back to that on the, on the relationship side. On the financial side, you've got the um, three of swords and the strength card. Well, this is much better at being on this side than on the other side. You've got the chariot as well. Whatever's going on in your life, there's no holding back. It's my word. Again, and then you get the Knight of Cups, uh, which is where you've come from. And then the Ace of Cups. You've got two Aces on the table. And then the Nine of Cups. You've got three Nines on the table. Uh, <coughs> cancer you've got three nines on the table so nine is like one times nine is nine two times nine is 18 that's one and eight that's nine 27 two and seven that's nine um, and it is the kingpin number basically everything pivots off that and it's running through you through on your karmic path on your emotional side on your relationship side goes through the overall energies but it comes out on what is going through you uh, what is your uh, general outcome on your um, financial side. I think both sides are really sort of connected more than anything else. Um, your relationship and your financial side, both of them seem to be connected. So um, yeah, overall energies, as I said, the nine of wands. The universe or the energy here is, it's great to be excited about everything and, um, and life and how brilliant it is and everything like that. But don't be fooled by that. Um, you know, the most vulnerable we are is the most happiest when we are. And I don't want to stilt your happiness at all because, you know, there is so much vibrant energy within you uh, on the relationship side. Uh, it's it, it, it's good to go off on that journey. And, and, you know, that is what that that person is doing. The eight of ones that is behind him or behind them is the information, the communication, the connection with the gifts from the universe and everything like that, that has created those healthy boundaries behind you so you don't go back on what you're doing. You're following that pathway going down. And I think that's taking it on, but recognising where you've been, recognising that um, it's all very well being emotional and, and, and loving what you're doing. And that is absolutely brilliant. And it seems like that's what's playing through you. But at the same time, don't be fooled by your own emotions either. It's just a little wary thing about it. But most of all, it's about going off on that journey. And it is a journey within the physical world, within your relationships. It's, as I said, the moment you engage in it in a very passionate way, things will start happening for you. And you will get what you need at the moment that you need it. Is That's what it's saying on your karmic path. You just need to go ahead and grab that wand. So on the universe here, you get the knight of wands. We've got two knights on the table, three knights, um, two aces. Absolutely brilliant. Um, yeah, so the, the universe here is, is bringing a certain rhythm to that passion. Um, so it gives you a sort of construction for your, your relationship. Uh, it gives you a certain um, order, a certain routine, as it were, that is built upon passions. And, uh, you know, that is a beautiful thing to have in your life. And the universe is encouraging you to explore that. You've 
enticed this into your life. You've called for it into your life through this Queen of Wands. Um, there's a lot of magic involved in as well. And that's what that whole love thing is about. Um, and it is, you know, very, very fiery, very, very explosive. And for you, Cancer, you know what I mean? It's, I wouldn't say fire is your main element. <laughs> Uh, it's, um, but it's, you know, when it's not your main element, that's what we attract into our life. So I think this is why you have been passionate about a lot of different things in your life. And that could have actually been fantastic. It gets the ball rolling. It gets the engagement in relationships and stuff like that. But it also sort of diverts you a little bit off your path of where you should be going. And sometimes that can cause you problems. And then running through you at the moment, you have this tower. It could it be a good one? I think it could well be a good to good tower moment because after that, you've got the ace of wands. And I think this is what really clarifies this sort of tower. The tower is um, the rescinding of belief systems it's the falling of uh you know power structures of you know royalty or whatever it is uh because here you've got the crown going it's also like that crown chakra as well it's you know blowing your crown chakra i think there's um there's something that comes to the surface here that galvanizes all of these wants all of this fire and passion um, and I think that sort of comes into your life and the reason it comes into your life because of this because there's something new arriving and I think it comes out of that tower moment and it makes it it puts all your passions into one direction and once you put those passions into one direction all of a sudden you have that magic wand with you you have that wand that the knight of wands is uh, nine of wands is holding in their hand, which the knight of wands is holding there. And also the queen of wands is holding there. Um, you know, it's a very particular direction, a new direction that you are taking. On your financial side, and I think it's going to be really beautiful. We will clarify with the light series cards, of course. Um, let's go down to your financial side. On your financial side, you get the strength card and the three of swords. <clears throat> things are moving on really quickly here and when they're moving on very quickly you need to have a control over your emotions because there's something coming into your life that's making you feel absolutely at one with what you're doing which is absolutely brilliant and we come back to this whole sort of thing of just being wary that you just don't take get taken off your path through your emotions don't get duped by um you know by your emotions and i'm thinking this is more maybe connected with someone that is around you you know um i don't think you're being taken advantage of at all i just think sometimes that you know i have particular passions in my life um and they may not correspond to you but once you're in that vibrant mood you may just kind of go well let's follow your passions and then you know you follow my passions and then you know, in in a in a period of time, you start realizing that this isn't where I should be, and I think you've got to be stay true to that, straight, strong, and true to uh, what you should be doing uh, in your life. Um, so you, but within the material life, there you've really got to take out the emotional sort of side of it all. Uh, the universe here is trying to influence this with great victories sudden victories that come in very quickly that all of a sudden you get like information comes through that uh you've got this new contract or whatever it is and that just brings in this beautiful and it comes in all quickly and it changes everything very quickly and i think if you keep control of your emotions this is what you've been offering yourself you've got the knight of wands on this side here um and you've got the knight of uh knight of wands on that side there sorry and the knight of cups on this side here um and you've got lots of cups on this side as well um 
if you want to manifest, because that's what the strength card is all about, if you want to stay true to your manifestation of what you should be doing, you should realise that over your life, you would have had this inner desire to do something. And this cup is being offered to you, I think, by you, by what you want to do. And now, this is what this cup is all about. Now it's coming and playing into your life. You have this cup that is like within your super, your subconscious. This is your, the Knight of Cups is your super subconscious. So it comes from the very long-term plan. And I think this is something that comes from the past that you've been wanting to do for a very long time. Um, and now it seems possible and you're engaging with that sort of, uh, that sort of, um, that sort of heartfelt um, pathway, which feels completely in alignment with what you should be doing. And because then you get the third nine out of it, which is the outcome of it all. And I think once you start getting involved with your heart's desires or the, the karmic plan that you should be going on, that is morally in tune with you, emotionally, uh, energetically, uh, and also physically within your world, all of a sudden, I think this is where you're going to bring a lot of things to you and a lot more, you know, a lot more people who have cups as well that are going to bring this to the party. And then all of a sudden, you've got a lot of cups at your at your um, disposition, basically, as we go forward. So, um, yeah, absolutely looking very, very powerful for you at the moment, uh, Cancer. Very powerful reading. Uh, with the nine of wands, you get the four of wands. Marriage card. Wands again. So I think it pertains more to your relationship side than your financial side. It is the coming together of two plans. So the two of wands uh, from your side and the two of wands from the other person's side. Um, and that's what the celebration is. is about going from one dimension to another. <coughs> that's what appears to be happening for you at the moment but as you do go through that just be wary as i said just be wary okay someone could well be proposing to you and that could be that tower moment there in front of you with the nine of pentacles you get the nine of cups seeing the reality for what it is make will make you incredibly happy um within the physical world, seeing the idea that once you start engaging and start going forward with your emotions, um, you know, and you start receiving as you need down this pathway, it's going to make you feel like you're skipping more than anything towards your destiny, uh, which is really, really nice. Really, really beautiful for you, uh, Cancer. Really love that idea. Okay, with the Knight of Wands, you get the seven of wands. Nothing but wands on this side. Apart from that ten of cups, of course. <coughs> seven of wands. I think here is the, the universe is bringing that certain rhythm, as I said, this rhythm to the passion within your life. But you've got to stay on your path. You've got to follow your path. You've got to stay true to yourself. And I think that ties into the nine of wands as well. She's not holding a wand there. She's not holding a wand. She's holding her position. And I think even with this passionate thing that's coming into your life, I think you do need to hold your position and be true to you uh, more than anything else. With the Queen of Wands, you get the star card. It's everything that you've dreamt of. I think all of those little things that you're getting involved with in, uh, in the world around you um, in the past stimulating a lot of things is now galvanizing into your dream basically it's really good uh it's it's good work on your behalf uh more than anything else you've done the background work in order to uh have this happiness within your life um so let's see what's going on with this tower hmm
This could be a proposal of marriage. This could be a proposal of moving in with someone or something like that. Whatever it is, it will change definitively your situation. Um, and at the moment, it's certainly working on fire. Now, you know, as I say, this is where I get, you know, this is where we get the idea of don't play with fire. And I think that's what, a little bit of that warning is all about. It's also, there's there's huge amounts of positives around it as well. It's that moving on to a whole new cycle. It's to do with that form of ones. It's marriage, it's connecting and everything like that. I would just be wary, that's all. It's just a little wariness that comes along with it. Uh, but it certainly looks really beautiful for you on the relationship side, incredibly passionate. And then you get the chariot with the ace of wands. It's gonna go very, very quickly. Every, you know, this change of scenario around you is going with such speed that, uh, yeah, going with a lot of speed, basically. Uh, and changes are coming to your life very, very, very quickly. Um, so, and and to do that, I would just be wary. That's all, you know, just be very wary. You know, not very wary, but be wary. That's all, you know. But I think, oh, in general, it's a brilliant situation. With the, uh, with the strength and the three of swords, you get the strength. Basically, stay true to who you are. Uh, allow those doubts to, um, you know, fall to the wayside, as it were. Uh, and yeah, just stay true to your heart, I think. Straight, stay true to your energy, your spirit, your moral sort of situation in regards to your job and your business and your projects. Just be true to you. The universe is bringing in the um, forward cups with the... Um, Chariot cards. Sorry, couldn't remember what it was. Um, it's not like I couldn't remember. I couldn't get, the, couldn't get the word out, basically, with the chariot card. This four of cups here is distilling these three cups here into that one cup there. And this is what's driving, what you've been driving towards and offering yourself. And now you're getting that one cup. That is what you're sort of doing there. And it's a multiplier. This is it. I, I wouldn't I wouldn't dilly dally I wouldn't wait around I wouldn't um, there's no there's no there's no there's no rest here it's things are moving on moving on quickly and yes I would follow your heart and follow your heart's desires this is your change of fortunes you've created this and it is because you've created it it's bringing in a wind of change in your financial world it's bringing you in your job and your projects and everything that you're doing it's taking you in a direction that is um yeah taking in a direction which makes you feel totally at one with what you do and then you get the emperor card there as well look at that that's really powerful this is a massively powerful reading for you uh cancer you know uh with the ace of cups you get the emperor as well um having this control over your emotions here is so important distilling it all into a one particular direction yeah is so important and once it starts going in that direction you've got to own it You've got to own your heart. You've got to own your enthusiasm. It's got to have a certain control over this. And I think that ties into the nine of wands as well with the overall energies there. The sun card just wants to come out. It is going to make you happy. There is a lot of happiness because I think you're in control of your destiny. And I think you're owning it, and it which is really absolutely beautiful. With the ten of nine of cups, you get the temperance card. I, 
I, as I said, I think if once you engage with your cup pit, with that ace of cups and that desire of what you want to do, I think people will be starting to come to you, come to you, come to your job of what you're doing, getting behind you of what you're doing, supporting you, um, and getting passionate about what you're doing and, and bringing their passion to the thing. But you, it's going to take a bit of time. And it's going to, it's helping, the temperance card there is helping you to convert night into day. So there is a degree that, before people come to your idea and back you uh, uh, in what you're doing within your career path or your job, you've almost got to turn the negative into positive. And I think this is what ties a little bit into the nine of wands as well. It is a case of, you know, being reasonable, being in control of the situation. So you're not just running emotionally off in a direction. You're also having complete control over it. And I think that's what the Emperor card is all about. I think that's what the Nine of Wands is all about. I think that's what the Four of Cups with the Chariot is all about. Obviously with the Strength card, with the, with the Three of Swords. And you're creating something amazing. But you've just got to be patient and allow people to come to you as you go forward. There you go, Cancer. Thank you very much for being here. Really do appreciate it. Appreciate all the support you give to this channel, whichever way in which you see fit. Uh, it's absolutely lovely. Um, yeah, I will um, see you this week for the monthly readings. We've got the monthly readings coming out. Uh, you're going to be heading into your summer energies, which is totally this. Uh, you're really heading towards that way. It looks like it's going to be a good um, December through to... Uh, December through to March, April for you, which is really good. And it's now is the time to move, uh, Cancer, and do it. So, yeah, uh, don't forget about the monthly readings and thank you very much for all the support you give to this channel. Don't forget, life should be fun, so please do enjoy. <laughs>